welcome to the exclusive premiere through the never Metallica. Yes, we are going to bring you all the interviews that you guys have grown to love and expect from the Philip Sadiq Show. Hold on, get your guitars, get your axes, get all that stuff. We will see you guys a little later. Nice, man. Hey, nice to see you. My pleasure to meet you guys. All right. Okay. My pleasure to meet you. Tell us about the film. The film is a uh, yes. big IMAX 3D, uh, the biggest thing we've ever done. We've been working on it for three years. Uh, the idea's been flown around in the Metallica world for about 15, um, but finally the last three years we got it together and made it. Um, it's big, it's, uh, like I said, by obviously by you know, Avengers standards or whatever. It's, you know, it's maybe a medium-sized film mm -hmm. by Hollywood, but for us it's a big film, and I think for Northern California standards it's a pretty big film, so we're fiercely proud. It's a, it's a movie that's set, sort of a, anchored by a concert with a story that takes place around in, in real time around the concert, and mm -hmm. we've got a superstar in the making, Dane DeHaan, as our lead actor, which we're very, very uh, proud proud about. We've got um, Nimrod Antal directing, and. Um, it's been an incredible three years, and here we are to talk about it. In a very large, dangerous stage as yeah. well. This is what we heard. 25 to 30 cameras, 360 degree scenes. How was that filming for you as a band? Did you have to stop between takes, or did you guys just rock, 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 and just let them edit it together? All of the above. I mean, obviously the whole uh, idea is to bring the viewer on stage. So you're capturing the band up close, really up close. I mean, you got Hipfield three inches from your face, and, and Lars, you know, this beautiful face right here. A lot of energy and um, a lot of danger and risk in there, too, but that's how we roll, you know? We just get, jump in the water and swim, you know? Yes, I mean, you guys are like royalty, if I could use that term, because you guys have been around for a while. You're still relevant. A lot of bands have fallen to the wayside and disappeared. What keeps you guys together? Um, well, I think what, what what keeps it interesting for us is we always try to challenge ourselves. I think the model of doing sort of a tour record, tour record, tour record sort of dissipated a few years ago. And now we, we have our own festival. We make our own movies. We do so many different things. So we cast the, the, the net very wide and it keeps us excuse me it keeps us always on our toes which keeps I think the uh, the creative juices flowing now for us older folks like myself how do you guys keep I mean you guys have aches and stuff I mean you guys are like da, 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 da. absolutely and I watch them like holy goodness you yeah. what do they do to stay well <laughs> not to hurt so much on my end um, you know yeah you have to go through transitions in your life so whether it's eating habits or how you train for a tour like this you know run, for me it's like running out on a on a football field and and, and uh, doing drills and crazy stuff like that and surfing of course right Kurt, we, have, we have we have two yeah. two guys uh, that work for us full time that stretch us massage us and and train us and help us eat right and stuff and those are the two hardest working guys we have a lot of people that work really hard but those guys are 24 7 they sort of uh, stitch us back together after each concert wow i need to hire those guys because I'm, I'm getting there too Metallica Christmas bonus yeah. all right <laughs> thank you guys thank you both thank you thank you, thank you.